Hey guys, welcome back. So got a review and mini tutorial for y'all today on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, or as I accidentally called it on my Instagram, the Modern Romance Palette, but no, it's a Modern Renaissance Palette. So I've already mentioned this in a favorites that I absolutely love this. So I thought it would be good to like do a combo sort of review and tutorial. This is pretty much the exact same look I was wearing in a Friday favorites and a lot of you guys requested this look. So I recreated it in this video. So I'm gonna run through what I'd normally do in my review videos. So we'll talk about pricing, packaging, we'll look at some swatches. I'll just give you my overall thoughts and review on this palette, and then I'm gonna show you a little mini tutorial on this look here, so let's jump into it. Okay, pricing and packaging. This palette retails for $42. I bought mine from the Anastasia Beverly Hills website, but you can also get it from Sephora as well. You get 14 eyeshadows in here that are 0.7 grams each, or 0.02 ounces. This is what the outside box looks like. Really cute. And then the actual palette itself is that sort of like felty kind of material. It's really cute to look at. It's very kind of like girly and bridal, but it gets dirty really quickly. So this honestly isn't my preference, um, just because like there's, you know, like a little like brown dot on it that won't come off. And that just bugs me because now it's not pristine and pretty. But I mean, it is like cute and, you know, kind of like fancy feeling, but it's just gonna get dirty. Now you do get the little like, um, you know, plasticky, plasticky sort of sleeve in there to kind of like protect the shadows. And you do get a double-sided brush, which is actually pretty nice. Like it feels sturdy. Um, both sides feel pretty soft. So it's actually like a useful brush. And then you get a mirror up on the top here. And then this is what the palette looks like. So it's a really warm toned palette. If you don't like warm tones, this palette is not for you. But if you love those warm tones, sunset sort of eye looks, I think you will love this palette. There's a good mix of kind of like um, mostly mattes and satins, but there are some kind of more, I don't know. Some of the satins really have like a little bit of a glow, especially when you mix them with these two shimmery shades, like as they kind of like meld together, it really does give a good dimension to your eye look. These are amazing. Oh my gosh, I love the selection of colors in here. It's beautiful. Wait till you see the swatches. Okay, starting with the top row, the palette on the left side, this is Tempura. It's pretty much a matte, but it has a just the slightest bit of a satin finish to it. Really nice brow bone color. This is Golden Ochre. This is Vermeer. That is an amazing shimmery shade. This is Buen Fresco. Antique Bronze. Love Letter. I love that one. Cypress Umber. In the bottom row of the palette, this is Raw Sienna. Burnt Orange. Primavera. That one's amazing too. So amazing. Red Ochre. Venetian Red. Warm Taupe. And Real Gar. Real Gar. So even though there are like three different kind of reddish shades, like pinky reds, they're very different. So I think it is such a good job of having like a lot of kind of, you know, colors in the same family, but that are also very different at the same time, but they work together so beautifully. I mean, you can see they all swatch beautifully, amazingly pigmented, they're gorgeous. As far as the formula goes on these shadows and just my overall review on this palette, this formula is incredible. This is my first Anastasia Beverly Hills palette to own. I've never owned any other ones. I've never purchased any of her individual shadows. So this is my first experience with her eyeshadows. And this formula is just amazing. One of the very best I've ever worked with because they're pigmented. They really have great, great color payoff but they also are super easy to work with. They just blend beautifully. Like they, they seamlessly meld together, but then they also stay separate enough where it doesn't get muddy. You can still see the differentiation between the colors, but they just like marry together perfectly to create beautiful eye looks. So amazing formula. They wear really well throughout the day as well. Love the formula on these. I love the color selection. I mean, you have everything you need in here. Amazing transition colors, multiple options as far as that goes. You have a great brow bone highlight. You have a color for deepening up your outer corner, kind of multiple options for that, honestly. So 
you have everything that you need in this palette and it works incredibly well. I've loved having it. I've loved playing with it. It's one of my very favorite palettes now. So I highly, highly recommend this. I'm loving it. So that's my review. So let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so I've already applied some eye primer. So now I'm gonna get a little bit of raw sienna and burnt orange, a combo of the two on my Sedona Lace EB15 brush. And I'm going to apply these right into my crease and transition area. Just build up that color. If you can see my mirror right there, I just got a little bit closer so I could actually see my eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of Venetian Red on a small crease brush and I'm going to apply that right into my outer corner and blend this over into my crease so it kind of meets those other more warm orangey shades and just you have this little bit of sort of a reddish tone kind of peaking from underneath, really pretty. You can go back in with your blending brush and kind of bring back some of that like orangey color. Do a little bit of blending. Now I'm gonna get some of Primavera on a Wet n Wild small concealer brush. I'm gonna first apply this to my lid and then I'm gonna take just a little bit of Vermeer and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. And now for just a little bit more dimension in my outer corner, I'm gonna get some of this color. This is Cypress Umber on that same crease brush. And I'm just gonna concentrate a little tiny bit of this in my outer corner Blend it just a little bit upward, but you really want this just in that outer corner, not all the way over into your crease. And now to help blend those colors in the outer corner and the lighter shades on the lid, I'm gonna get a little bit of Love Letter on that same crease brush again. And I'm just gonna lightly pat this right in between those. Kind of like blend those colors together. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of my lid shade just to make sure that's super vibrant and blended. I'm also gonna use my blending brush a little bit. Just a little bit of like marrying all the colors together. Now I'm going to take a little bit of tempura on a Pure Minerals eyeshadow brush and apply this as my brow bone highlight. Now I'm going to line my upper and lower lash line with the Sephora pencil. This is in Tiramisu. Now over that liner on my lower lash line, I'm going to get a little bit of red ochre and apply that most of the way with my Sedona Lace EB21 brush, and then I'm gonna get a little bit of Vermeer and apply that to the inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna apply some mascara, finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I'll show you the final look. So that wraps up this review and tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you are thinking about this palette. If you picked it up already, what do you think about it? What are some of your favorite shades or looks to do with it? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.